This video will cover setup and usage for the rigid collated screwdriver, R6791. This video is not designed to replace your product's operator's manual. This video is here as a guide to offer clarification to key features on your tool. Always read, understand, and follow the warnings and instructions outlined in your product's operator's manual prior to use. You can also contact Rigid Customer Service for further product information. If you do not have a copy of your product's operator's manual, call Rigid Customer Service at 866-539-1710 or visit rigid.com to obtain one before you use your product. The Rigid Coalated Screwdriver is compatible with Coalated Senco screws up to 3 inches in length. The unit comes with both a square bit and a number 2 Phillips bit. There are two nose pieces included, one for wood and one for drywall. Unplug the screwdriver. Remove screw strip from the tool if previously loaded. Hold the screwdriver upright and depress the bit load button. Drop the bit into the feed housing. While still holding the bit load button, depress the nose piece with the palm of your opposite hand to center the bit. Cycle the nose piece up and down while gently shaking the tool until the bit drops into place. Before loading the screwdriver with collated screws, check to be sure tops of screws are resting on top of collated tape material. Adjust nose piece to correct screw length. Unsnap and rotate bottom of screw guard to access screw strip guide. Feed screw strip into the strip guide. Move screw strip forward into the feed housing until the second empty hole lines up with the bit. Snap the screw guard back in place. Plug in the screwdriver. Depress the switch trigger and press the nose piece with constant force against the work surface. Do not remove the tool from the work surface until the clutch disengages and the bit stops rotating, indicating a fully driven screw. Unplug the screwdriver. The pad on the end of the nose piece for wood will wear with continued use. To replace the nose piece, remove the existing pad and clean the nose piece to remove all residue. Remove the adhesive backing from a new pad and firmly press to secure. Unplug the tool. If the tool does not drive the screw into the material, check to see if the bit is worn. If the bit is worn, then it will need to be replaced. If the tool does not drive the screw to the desired depth, then depth is improperly set. Adjust the depth using the depth adjustment wheel. If the screw does not advance, then the screw length is not set correctly. Adjust the screw length setting using the Allen wrench provided.